okay hello everyone and welcome to my channel learning tech so today I'm going to show um, how can we uh, measure the association between any two variables using Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient in SPSS okay so for that let me open the SPSS okay uh, this is one data set that I have already have here you can just see it and uh, Carl Pearson's correlation of coefficient it is also known as uh, product moment correlation coefficient so it is mostly commonly used correlation coefficient to measure the you know the association between two variables so it is useful when uh, two variables are linearly associated with each other uh, so before uh, we just start keep in mind that when two variables are normally distributed and is in interval or ratio scale then Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient is used to analyze uh, the association between any two variables okay okay so for example I want to measure the association between the age and the income okay age and the income and it must be normally distributed and should be in interval or ratio scale okay so so now to calculate uh, the Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient uh, first let me just define the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis okay so my null hypo hypothesis null hypothesis is that uh, there is no any correlation between these two variables okay these two variables means here the uh, income and age okay okay and my alternative hypothesis is that uh, there is a significant correlation between two variables okay so now to use the uh, Carl Pearson's uh, coefficient a correlation coefficient first of all go to analyze there then just click on correlate then click on by it okay okay so now this box appears here so you can just click the variable and click this button or simply you can drag the variable here okay so okay I want to measure the association between these two variables right okay so you can see here uh, the different correlation coefficient here uh, just like Pearson's Kendall's and Spearman's so for uh, more options like uh, means and standard deviations you can just tick this box or and you can continue or you can just leave as it is here so I just want to test uh, the Pearson's here you can see uh, correlation coefficients and just click on OK okay so now here the output uh, appears like this okay so now here you can see here the correlation between the two variables that is age and the income uh, after this uh, you must uh, specify the level of significance okay it is normally it is uh, 0 0.05 mm, you can see here correlation is significant at the uh, 0 0.01 level which is two tailed okay you can see here and for that you can just double click here and check like this correlation is significant at the 0 0.01 level okay so now the interpret the result whether to accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis okay so we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the correlation coefficient is uh, significant and the two variables are correlated to each other only when the calculated value is higher than the tabulated value and we fail to reject the null hypothesis when uh, the calculated value is lower than the tabulated value then we can conclude that there is no correlation and both the variables are independent of each other okay so in this case we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis and we can conclude that significant correlation between income and age okay the you can see here the number uh, 0.335 okay this is the Pearson's correlation coefficient okay and you can just see here correlation is significant at the level 0 
and we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis here okay so if you like the video please like and subscribe my channel for more videos uh, till then thank you very much